Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Be Green with Amy. I'm Amy. So, Be Green with Amy, we are all about healthy living. And of course, that's eating a whole food, plant-based, no added sugar, oil, or salt. And that's the lifestyle that we like to teach about. But healthy living is also about other things, like getting proper sleep and getting good exercise. And another thing is community, like what we have today. We have good community and having love. And there's another aspect of the healthy lifestyle, and that is to meditate. And there's many different ways of meditating, and some people think of meditating as a conventional putting yourself in a pretzel position on the floor and, and oming and things like that. But there's other ways to meditate. And this, today, we are going to introduce to you a really special way of meditating. And I hope you guys are gonna join us at home. You can pause this and go grab, hopefully if you have a black Sharpie mark, at home and some blank computer printer paper and if you don't just put your pause and go grab it and then come back because we're going to do this together and you can join us at home to do this so this is gonna be a lot of fun so I would like to introduce to you Norma and she is going to show you how to do Al Sketchy. Al Sketchy. Give a round of applause. Yes, Askechi is a form of uh, being aware of your consciousness and your subconsciousness. In your conscious state, your mind picks up things. Be careful what your thoughts are. Because if you think it, your subconscious is going to take it and it's going to use it because our subconscious is our slave. Our subconscious gives us everything, anything that our consciousness gives it. And I don't mean just good things, but bad things. If you have a bad thought, the subconscious takes that bad thought and it gives it back to you and that's what you get. And sometimes you wonder, why is this happening this way? It's because, pay, pay attention. What are my thoughts? Am I thinking kindness? Am I being kind? Am I being uh, sort of loving? This can work in many ways, not even with art, because with me, art is my passion. And so, art has taught me how to be aware of my subconsciousness. If you can't do it, if you tell yourself, I can't do it, you won't do it. You won't be able to do it. But if you tell yourself, I can, even if you don't see how you could do it, if you tell yourself, I can, a path will open and you will. Do other people know that they can do not even art, but whatever their interest is, they can do it through their subconscious by just planting that seed. You plant it and you reap it with your subconscious. And so and I'm going to show you how you can do this. For a few minutes and you close your eyes and just relax. And every time I'm going to ask you to visualize a number and when you visualize that number you think of something negative you want to throw away you want to get rid of okay we'll start now the number one when you see the number one You throw it away. And now you visualize number two. When you see that number two, you throw it away. Then number three. 
when you see the number three, you throw it away. You'll see number four. When you see number four, you throw it away. Did you see number five? When you see number five, you throw it away. When you see number six. When you see number six, you throw it away. You see number seven. When you see number seven, throw it away. When you see number eight, throw it away. You see number nine, you throw it away. And you'll see zero. And you look in the center of the zero, there's that space. And you're gonna walk through that space and you'll be on the other side. And you'll be there in that space. And in that space, you feel free. You feel cleansed. You feel calm. You feel at peace. You're one with yourself and your creator. You're there. Now, with this peace, you're going to return. And you're going to come back through that space of the O. And it will disappear. And you see nine, and it will disappear. And you'll see eight, and it will disappear. And you'll see seven, and it will disappear. And you'll see six, and it will disappear. And you'll see five, and it will disappear. And you see four, and it will disappear. And you see three, and it will disappear. And you see two, and it will disappear. And you see one, and it disappears. Open your eyes and feel that calm and that peace. With that calm and that peace, you're going to take your pen up and you're going to make circles or make line, make, just make, just move your hand around and it's your subconscious that is doing that. Don't control it because if you try to control it, <laughs> It's going to be shaky line. It's not going to be smooth lines. Just make lines, just make circle quietly and evenly. Just let your subconscious direct you. And I'm going to come and look and see if you're really calm. Now, when you're roaming, where you start, you're going to take it at 
join, look at your paper now, and where you start and you roam, you're going to come back to the beginning because then you're making shapes. Okay. No, you're not relaxed. You're trying to control. Throw it away. Control is not good. Start it, move it fast. Just allow, just hold the pen firmly in your hand and try to get back to the beginning of where you started. You're not in control. You're in control. No, you're in control. You should not be in control. Your consciousness is taken over everything. This is very new to some of you because you see, we are always in control of everything. We feel as if we're losing it. You're not losing it, you're gaining it. You always have to find, you have to maintain your perimeter, or this is your picture plane. And so I'm going to stick my finger, this finger here, here, and I'm going to draw a line down like this. I have a straight line. And I'm going to do the other one, just like that. And another straight line. And I'm going to draw another line like that another straight line, and I have another line like this, and I connect. So I did it without using a straight edge. Now you cannot continue until you're able to do that. So I'm going to give you all a board, and you're going to do that, and I know you're going to be shaking, you know, because you want to make it perfect. Don't, just relax. Just relax, this is something new. Just keep telling yourself, I can, and you will. Just hold it like this, okay. This finger, your long finger there, you're gonna put it there. You hold the pen with your index and your thumb. You put it here. You're going to move your finger, not the pen. You put the pen and you move your finger and the pen follows. You put your finger there. You, you're put the pen on the paper, the point on the paper. Move your finger and the pen will move. Don't move the pen. Move your finger. Move your finger. That's better. See? Move your finger. Move your finger. Why are the lines wavy? Because the finger is wavy. Because you're moving the pen. If you slide your finger down smoothly, the line will be straight. Very nice. Nice job. Very good. You <laughs> see? Very nice. Well, nice try. <laughs> On the other side. No, no, the same side. Okay. Now you, you, let me see you do that. You see? I'm improving. We are in so, um, in, we, we control everything so much that we have such a difficult time. Look how beautiful you made that line up. Always put this first, just stick the finger there. And let the finger roll down the side of the Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. <laughs> what you're going to do is, you're, I'm going to do it and you're going to see what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw something here. I'm just going to draw, and whatever I do, I make my, I come back to where I started. See what I did? And I come back to where I have started. I didn't stop anywhere, my lines are smooth. We have this energy. Recognize it and use it. I will, I go around and the energy flows and then I stop. 
and I have a shape here and I have to dis dis decide what am I going to put in these shapes? You're going to put in these shapes what your subconscious tells you to do and I'm going to show you this example. There's another one. There's another one. It's upside it down. And here's another one. Now this one I did. And I did not know I had a hearing problem. And I kept drawing this. And when I went, someone said, I don't think you're hearing me when I speak with, to you. And so when I went to the doctor, I, told, I saw this in the office and I said, I have been drawing that. So he didn't believe me, so I brought it and showed him. And he said, you have a block in your eustachian tube. And so I have been drawing it. My subconscious has been telling me and I never paid attention. Like, here's another one. It's, sometimes I can interpret these things after I do them. And that's a vast. time one and this doing it in colors also and I darken this section here I darken the section here so my flower stands out and there it is I put the darkness there and I put a darkness there and I realize that contrasting it it brings the beauty out because nobody can stay in the dark and nobody can stay in the light because in the light you can't be seen in the dark you can't be seen you have to bring them together and so life comes life comes huh so there it is and this is what you're going to do I don't want to take up your time any longer but you understand now what our sketchy is and the reason it's called Al Sketchy is sketching with Alberta. My name is Norma Alberta. And so we're sketching with Alberta. So it's, that's what it is, Al Sketchy. So, do you understand how important you all are? Do you understand the gifts that you all have that's buried someplace? And because you have no courage to bring it forth, the world is waiting for it. You've got to share. You have to share. We need to know it, okay? Don't hide it, okay? Don't hide it. What you have to do, what you have to say, what you feel is just important like somebody else's. We are all different, but we need the difference to make the difference, okay? Anyway, thank you so much. I hope this helps. That was so amazing. I hope you guys joined in at home because that was a lot of fun. And I want to thank Norma Alberta for our sketchy. So remember, thoughts become things, choose the good ones. And here at Be with Amy, we have always trying to get some positive thoughts out back to you and to the universe. So if you enjoyed what you saw and you want to see more, please click up here to subscribe. If you tried this at home, let us know in the comments below what you thought and maybe send us a picture. We'd like to see what you made. And let's think of some more positive thoughts. Be strong, be well, and be Green! Bye-bye! <laughs>